not a normal intro. I gotta do this fast. Okay, so, um, welcome to my videos. Draw your OC. Bye bye. So, the first one is one I drew for a YouTuber. Uh, this OC I called Lee. I don't remember what the actual name was. Um, I guess it was really fun drawing this one. It took me quite a little bit to finish, and I was really happy with it in the end. And so was the YouTuber. She said I did a really good job with it. Uh, the YouTuber's name is S Comics. I call her Butterfly. Um, so, yeah. The hair, well, I kind of messed up. <laughs> I was supposed to, uh, like, I guess, draw, um, color it blondish, which you'll see in a little bit why it's not blonde. Um, instead of making her, like, a Kitsune yokai figure, I decided to make her a human who has the personality of a yokai, uh, a mischief, uh, mischievous kitsune. So that's how that went. I was really happy with the skirt in the end. I didn't think I could draw skirts. <laughs> and it took me like two or three tries to get done with. Um, this character, I guess, was a bit of a... Mm, I want to say, like, a worry, but it kind of wasn't at the same time. I took so long on it that I kind of got comfortable with the way it looked. If there was one thing I could change about it, it would be the hand. The hand kind of bugs me. Um, the one holding the salt. It's kind of, like, blocky and it's bothersome. But it overall looks amazing. If I do say so myself, of course. <laughs> For the outlines, I decided to do a, well, outline. <laughs> Um, several different outlines, actually. I did a skin outline, a skirt outline, just a whole bunch of outlines that match the colors of the, um, whole outfit, and, yeah. I had real big troubles with those, uh, flip-flops. They still don't look right, and I honestly couldn't fix them anymore, so that's not getting fixed. <laughs> um, I really like the high-knee socks. I did really good on that. And then the shadow, which is appearing right now. <laughs> Made her look like she's evil. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so this is like the dark version of um, the Kitsune girl that S Comics allowed me to use. Which is really cool, because she's a YouTuber, like one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. She inspires me to draw a lot, and I'm just really happy with being around her, and yeah. So, now we're getting on to the shading, which was, I guess, hard. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, ooh, sorry. <laughs> I had to uh, sigh for a minute. The skirt shading did take a whole minute to do. It, I, I was trying to figure it out. I was like, should I make it dark? Should I do half of it dark, half of it light? And uh, yeah. And then... I decided to where the light source was, and it was like a flashlight, so that's how that went. And now my initials, and now I'm done. So, bye-bye. Sponsor, which is not technically a sponsor, because I don't know if you need to be paid for it or anything. But, um, I just, I just want to advertise her because she's amazing. Um, her name is S Comic. She is so amazing. Um... Her channel is about videos, and she does streamings Wednesdays and Saturdays. And she does arc requests and prompts, and she has a Discord, and yeah. So, yeah. She's the, uh, sponsor. Our next one is my OC, which is a bean girl as I grew it. She starts out with her eyes. I messed up, but I tried again, and I made it perfect. Um, I added tears in her eyes, which I winded up erasing half of her face, so don't worry about that. <laughs> um, the hair, uh, I'm kind of iffy on. I don't like it, but I also like it like it, so I don't know. It's a between the I like and I don't like. Um, however, 
it's not as messy as the old one and not as rough as the old one, as I can say. Uh, the beanie was a big improvement, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I had more knowledge on beanies this time around, so yeah. Um, I really like drawing um, sweaters on my anime characters, so that's how that went. And then we went on to shading, and the shading's gonna take a minute, apparently. Well, not the shading, the coloring. The base coat. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Um, so, I didn't do this one like I did the last one. This one, I kept the black line art at all times. And it winded up looking different from the other ones, but I really like it because it's an improvement from what I did a while ago. And yeah. I'm not really keen on happiness with it, but maybe sometime in the future I could see it again and see if I can draw it much better this time around. The hair shading, I iffy on as well. Um, I like the fact that I drew it like you should like draw hair, but it's still just not my kind of style. Um, so the ears were on the original photo, but they are now, so <laughs> they're new ears. They're um, downward elf, elf ears. I cannot speak today worth nothing. <laughs> it's also really late at night when I recorded this, of course. Um, I added in a tear effect, but I wasn't liking it too much at first, and then I changed the color and it got better, and then I started on the shading of the face, which is how I draw all shade, all fish, face, oh my, oh my, speak to me today. Okay, anyway, um, so yeah, I did shading the way I usually do shading, and I draw, added a little bit of a black line under the eye to show that she has been crying for a while. And then I added some lips, which are kind of good for lips, and then the ears shading. And now, usually, and always will be, my favorite part, the eyes. <laughs> I really love drawing eyes. It's just my addiction. And then, then the beanie. And I think the beanie's last- no, the shirt's the last part. As you can tell. <laughs> so, the shirt and the background, of course. Which is happening right now. I really love the pastel colors. <laughs> um, so, I tried on different effects as well. And then I just winded up with that. And that's how that ended. Okay, so the last one is another uh, OC. But it's not mine, so, yeah. This OC is from a Naruto universe. Um, the gacha character is what's shown right now. The character I'm drawing is holding up her hand to, um, to a lightning ball, I'd say. Uh, this one has a couple, and I mean a couple of problems that I just wish I could have fixed. Um, maybe I've tried to fix it like 60 times. <laughs> For one, one of the hands are like really small. Actually, both hands are really small. Um, what I was really happy about the hand though is the fact that the uh, one raising up to the ball of lightning, the fingers are pretty cool. I don't like the other hand though. The other hand just needs to be fixed in general. <laughs> the skirt thingy was the way it was supposed to look and the whole outfit actually is the way it was supposed to look. Her hair was originally curly, but I can't really draw curls, so I just drew in pigtails. And then we went on to shading, which I think, I don't remember if I did, but I think I did um a different outline for the skin. Um, the, this one I wasn't mad about, but I'm not too happy either. Uh, the, the mouth kind of bugged me for quite some time, but I decided not to care about it after in the end. And then I decided to shade the, um, leggings, stockings, I guess. The eyes being the best part as usual. <laughs> My very top favorite part. And now we're going on to the lightning ball, which I need to help because I couldn't really understand it. Uh, I wish I could fix that rain part. That rain part's bothers the life out of me. So yeah, that's how that ended up.
overall, on this entire thing, I was really happy with them. Uh, not as best as what I've done before, but I was extremely happy with these. And I hope I can do some more. So see you guys next Saturday. Please subscribe and like and go check out S Comic and like and subscribe her as well. See ya!